chip to a Zigbee door window sensor? Can it beat Akara sensor for just a half price? Is it better or worse? Unboxing and review of this device in this video. Smart tube welcomes. Consider subscribing. Let's go. Today I have for you another Zigbee device and it's again quite cheap if you compare it to Akara. It's like a half price or even less. It is a device that I found on AliExpress and it works with Tuya. It's a, a Zigbee door window sensor. You can place it on many things. Uh, in some of my video I already shared how I'm using it. In most cases I'm using it on my doors, windows, I have it also on my toilet, I have it on my gateway, uh, sorry, on my gate or garage door. However, you can also place it in the drawers. With the device you can create lots of automations, like if doors are opening you can turn on the light, if the window is opening you can turn off the air condition or air purifier, so you can have a lot of automations with this, with this device. We can start from showing you the the pack, the package. On the front you can see the, how the device uh, looks and that it works with Home Connect, with Tuya and it's on Zigbee. So sometimes we can call it a contact sensor. Here it's a door window sensor. And on the back what we can find is, what's the product model? You don't see the, the brand as I think it just doesn't have it, but it works with Tuya. So it's using the CR2032 button battery. You can see the size. So I will show you how it looks like along with the Akara sensor. It's not that uh, bad as you can think. So it's not much bigger. And network is a Zigbee. Application Smart Life. I think there is also Home Connect maybe. Or maybe not, but uh, I won't use those applications as I will add this sensor to my home assistant using the son of uh, dongle. And if we go to the side of the package, we can control it with a voice. There is an intelligent timing and remote control. I'm not sure how I can control it by voice because it's not a Wi-Fi device, but okay. And with the remote control, I'm also not sure how can you control it. And on the side, you can see the QR code to download the Smart Life application, which is free and it's for the Google Play Store and App Store. And on the other side, there is nothing to show. So let's go to the inside of the box. Okay, that's the main unit. So here is the paper that will keep the battery, so keep the device off. There needs to be a magnet and uh, double sided tape. So we have one tape. We have a metal stick to reset the device or make it to the pairing mode. And here is the magnet. And Maybe you can hear it, but the magnet is loose inside. Not sure whether it's fine or not, but maybe I can open it and see what's happened. But no, it doesn't want to. Okay, so maybe I will broke it. But the first thing what I thought is that unfortunately the quality may not be the best. So that's it. And I also have in my hand a small manual. But let's start with the device. So that's that. And maybe I can open it and see what's inside. So there is a battery, open shell and remove. Okay, I will now remove it. You can see the red light and I think that's just the message for us that it works. And the battery seems to be loose. So again, the quality doesn't seem to be good. But if I close it, is it closing fine? Is it tight? Yes, it is tight, so the battery is not 
loose inside but just the magnet is loose and here it's nice idea from the manufacturer that actually this is one tape but you have some pre-cuts you can place one of it what the inside on the magnet and on the main unit you place the others so that's that's that and what about the manual so this is the product manual and i don't i don't think so that it is necessary to show you how it works but you can see the manual here if you would like to know what's written there and here is in chinese so i'm not sure whether that was necessary to show you but that's that's it so now i will show you how it compares to the akara unit and at the beginning i can tell you that the akara is using much smaller battery it's a cr1632 and this is akara unit and as you can see it is a bit smaller so it's like one centimeter i think or even a bit more in terms of this size i would say here it is the same mm, akara device i took it from my window and uh, from the window doors so there is no back of the sensor but uh, it's not that much bigger i would say it's the same in terms of the this dimension it is almost the same i would say like two three millimeters so it's not that big it's not that bigger however the shape i would prefer i prefer akara's shape and in terms of the plastic quality mm, this one is a bit glossy akara is a bit matte but akara seems to be a better quality if you touch the plastic and yeah that's it so for sure the battery changed the the size of the sensor however i'm sure that this sensor can last longer or i would say it should but uh, who knows okay so now we can go we can put the akara sensor to the side and we we can check how to add it and how it will work in the home assistant so we know that it was working and as you could maybe as you could notice the red light is telling us that we changed the status of the contact sensor when i put closer the magnet the sensor will blink in red yes and now if we open let's say doors the sensor is again blinking one in red okay so it it works now what we can do we can add it to the home assistant and see how it works in the home assistant so i will move to the screen of my smartphone okay so um i'm in my home assistant and now what i will do as i have a zigbee 2 mqtt add-on and i'm using uh, as i said before a uh, son of zigbee uh, son of dongle and now what i need to do is click to the zigbee 2 mqtt on the side bar and now the burger and allow to join all, dev all devices and we need to reset the device and i'll just go to the bottom of the list and i'm resetting the device you may not see it but i'm doing that now if i press the reset button on the bottom the sensor goes to the red and then starts blinking 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 and then the red light was on for a few seconds and when i released the, the reset button it goes off and let's see whether we added new sensor and as you can see the device number 60 is our new sensor so i'm now going to the device to show how it works so let's do this thing i will just remember that it is 783 at the end of the device we can go to the developer tabs states and that's 783 and we have already the binary sensor and the second one is said that the device is off so now i'm opening moving away the magnet and the device 
goes to on so the second row now i'm moving it back and it's off so as you can see it's working well so it doesn't seem to have any lag in the home assistant and then the son of dongle works fine with it and it found it quickly without any issues off on yeah again closing it off so i think that the device is fine and now i need to find a, a good place for it to to put it somewhere and i will create some nice fancy automations for it let's go back now to the view of the camera okay as you could see the device is working fine i don't see anything what would say that worse than akara just maybe the, the size the second thing that actually i do not like is how you reset the device so you need to use this metal stick and put it to the bottom of the device and then uh, the device will reset so in, with new devices i don't know from xiaomi from akara you usually have now a button and the idea of having a hole and resetting it by a, a metal stick is actually quite old besides that i think it's quite a good device of course i need a bit of more time to test it and see whether it will drop from the network of the zigbee or any other i know it will stop working but it's like i don't know after one or two years and the battery would be dead it means that mm, the bigger battery doesn't help but i cannot say it i cannot judge it now so i won't and and i think if you are using any tuya gateway you don't need to worry to buy this device it will work great as well as in the home assistant so you don't need to buy expensive contact sensor like akara i highly recommend it to you and the link to this product you can find in my in the video description as i said i bought it on aliexpress for around five or six dollars if you are interested what other what automations you can create with this device you can go to my other videos where i'm showing it if you are akara fan i also has a video with unboxing and review of uh, akara device akara contact sensor but with this material it's everything what i wanted to show you so thank you for watching consider subscribing and see you next time.